Welcome to Pawpaw's Workshop, and I appreciate you spending some time with me today in the shop. I'm going to make a simple sign today using the easel software. I'm also going to do this in real time, unedited, to show you just how quick and easy it is to use easel. Then we're going to take it down to the shop and carve the sign. So let's get started. Using easel software, I'm going to make this simple sign today and show you exactly how to do it. I'm also going to be pulling graphics from easel with the icon tab up at top. So to begin with, let's open up a new work piece. First thing that we're going to do, we're going to move over here to this top right hand corner and we're going to select the material dimensions. In the case today for this sign, we're going to make it 14 inches on the X axis and on the Y axis is going to be 5.5 inches. As far as my thickness, I'm going to put the thickness at 0.5 of an inch. And there we have the material all set. Now over here on the design side, we're going to start off with adding some text. And I'm going to use this one because it's a fairly bold text. And the first thing we're going to do is select it, backspace, and I'm going to type in YouTube. and channel. Okay, that is complete and I'm going to slide this now up to about where I want it. And I'm going to grab the text again and this time I'm going to choose a different one. I think I'm going to select this one for the um, Papa's workshop. We'll backspace out of this, get rid of the text and we'll type in Pawpaw's Workshop. Oops. Okay, with that done, we'll slide that over in place now. And obviously it's a little bit too big, so we're going to scale that down some. And just by grabbing that top right hand corner with that arrow, we can slide it down. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Alright, then I can slide it up to where I want. Okay, now then, to be able to get some icons, I'm going to click up here on the icon menu. <clears throat> and we're going to scroll down. And I want to find the hammer. And there's a lot of icons to be able to choose from. And there's the hammer icon. So I'll we'll bring that into it just by clicking on it. And we're going to make that a little bit smaller as well. And just get right on that line with the diagonal arrow. And we can slide it down. And then we can position, grab it. We can pull it right up in place. And that's about where it needs to be. Now then, in the original drawing that you saw, we had one over here. The easiest way to do that is just click on it, come up here to the edit menu, and we can flip it horizontally. Okay, see how that works? Alright, so to be able to do that, we're going to also need to make a copy. So, we're going to go up here and hit Control c and then Control v and that gives me a copy of it. So we'll slide that over to this spot and we'll flip this one back in the original direction. There we go. Now I'm going to open up my window just a little bit more by grabbing that little box down there at the very bottom right hand side. <clears throat> and right now we've almost got the drawing done. Okay, so I'm going to pull this down. A little bit. I'm going to make this down just a little bit. Okay, we're going to center everything here in just a moment, but I'm not really ready to do that. Alright, that all looks good. Now then, in the original one I had a line that came across with a saw blade. So let's go out to the icons again and let's grab the saw blade that they have in here. And there it is. So, I'm going to grab this and pull this right up here. And I'm going to scroll out just a little bit. 
So we can work with this, and we're going to work with it over here in another area. <clears throat> and the first thing, I don't want to use this little center section, so I'm going to, whoops, let's click on just that, right click, and we're going to cut that away. The next thing you saw in the original drawing, we only used half of the saw blade. So to be able to do that, to get rid of that, I'm going to click on a box. We're going to bring that box right up here. We're going to make that wider so it'll cover the distance of the saw blade. Slide that right up there about halfway through. Okay, whoops. And we're going to make that where it does not cut. So now we see half the saw blade. And actually what I want to do is still a little bit too much. I want to go right up to about there. That looks pretty good. Okay, now then, what I'm going to do is combine that. Well, I'm not going to combine that quite yet. I want to go ahead and put my uh, line up here. And to be able to do that, I'm going to use my pawpaws as a guide. So that's about how long I want it. And then we're going to make it narrow. I'm going to bring that down right about there. That looks pretty good. So now I'm going to grab that up to here. Put that right in there. Now I want to screw, zoom in pretty close to that so I can see exactly where that is going to be. <clears throat> so there we have it. Okay. And you can see the other part hidden underneath. See my saw blade and see my line. Let's scroll back out. Now I'm going to highlight everything and we're going to use the command to combine. And there we have it. Now when I click on it, we have one object. I can grab that now and we're going to pull that down into my workpiece. Oops, there we go. There we go. Now that's about where I want it. I'm going to zoom in now to that spot. There we go. Position that where I want it. And that completes the sign. One of the things I want to be able to do now is highlight everything and we'll get all the same depth of cut. I'm going to come up here and we're going to cut this at about 0.1 inch. So we're going to highlight that to 0.1. Hit my enter. And there we go. Everything is ready. To go over to the right hand side now to be able to see what the finished product is going to look like. I'm going to click on my generated detailed preview. I'm going to shrink my other box down so we can see the sign. And that's what it's going to look like complete. I hope this helps to be able to see how to be able to create a very simple design and make a sign very quickly. Use an easel all the way through and using the icons from the easel software. It's a very effective, easy, simple way to be able to do it for especially new people just beginning with easel. Now let's take this to the shop and carve it. To make this sign today, what I'm going to be using is a thin slat. This is a cedar six foot thin slat that we're going to be able to turn this into our sign. So the first thing I'm going to do is get over to the table saw and cut the size that I need. All right, so we're going to cut this knot out to begin with because I don't want that in the finished sign.
there I have my sign that's going to be 14 inches by the five and a half. So let's go over here. We'll take it and set it up on the CNC machine now and get ready to cut it. Now today, to be able to do the carving, I'm going to be using a 90 degree feed bit. I'm going to show that right up there in the camera. This is the bit that I'm going to be using. So let me go ahead and get that installed in the router now. Okay, I've installed the 90 degree feed bit. I've also installed and secured the workpiece in place. On the computer itself, I went ahead and ran the simulation. I know it's going to take about 18 minutes to be able to run. And also is looking for any hidden objects that might have been left over from the design to be able to make sure that was eliminated. So with that all done now, I'm going to go ahead and set up the machine and we'll begin to do the carve. Okay, there we have the completed sign. Let me show it to you in the camera. I think that turned out really nice. Very little tear out. The cedar is a very nice, easy wood to be able to carve. The only thing that's left now is finishing. I'm going to do that in another video. So from the standpoint of our original goal, I said quick and easy. To design, took about 8 minutes. To be able to carve, took 18 minutes. So all total, in less than a half an hour, we went from very beginning, through the design stage, through the carve, to a completed sign in less than 30 minutes. I think that's pretty good. Thank you for watching today. And if you found this video useful, please remember to hit that like button, leave a comment, and please subscribe. Until next time, have fun, be safe, take care now.